Um, and this is a poem titled, To Die Here. I don't want to drive myself to my death. Park in that spot, I always do a little beyond the yellow line so I don't have to parallel park. I don't want to be buried in the courtyard where I eat lunch when it's warm and the sunlight peeks over the edge of the building. I want that light shining on my face, burning my skin instead of illuminating the granite of my headstone. I don't want to walk into my death of my own free will, a multiple choice question I don't understand, so I close my eyes and circle C, jumping at every shout because it might be someone shouting in pain. The electric pencil sharpener sounds like the rapid fire of a machine gun. I don't want my soul to stain the new chairs in the Performing Arts Center, oozing down into the crevices between the seats, my red blood on blue chairs. The theater used to be my haven. But now, when I stand on that stage, all I think is if a shot rang out, which way would I run? What final text message would I send to my parents? The word gun, gun, gun should not be a Gregorian chant in the back of my mind during choir class. And I've done the math. No matter how many deaths I add up, take the derivative of it always equals one kid plus AR-15. My numbers do not lie. But politicians have a twisted sense of truth. They tell me I am too young to speak up, to pick a side, but I'm also too young to decide what kind of flowers I want at my own funeral or to write my own will, an, unop an unofficial piece of notebook paper with the fringe still attached, giving away all of my worldly possessions and telling the recipients to not be scared of people that are different, to advocate for mental health awareness and for God's sake, don't give my English teacher a handgun when he can't use the projector correctly. <laughs> I don't want the fall of the United States government or an abolition of the Second Amendment. I want to feel safe. My safety, not the institution of an anarchy, all for the sake of frightened children. But I am a frightened child, and I refuse to be afraid any longer. Determined footsteps, thousands strong, become a movement. I will march for my life because I have so many words left to write. To scrawl in the margins of notebook papers and scribble across napkins, I want to soak my life through with ink, not blood. So today, I refuse to become a statistic. I refuse to become a headstone and I refuse to stop fighting until action is taken because today, I refuse to die here.